to Myra here, nice of you to join me and a very warm welcome to my channel, it's lovely to have you here with me today and in today's video we are going to be doing the accordion um, album that um, I've done a walkthrough on my channel and I will put that walkthrough video up in that corner just there, if you want to click on that, that will take you to the walkthrough for this particular project. In this that project I used the Magic Forest Papers by Stamperia, loved them, absolutely loved them. Um, they were a dream to work with as most Stamperia papers are. But I thought what we'd do, like I normally do in my videos, is I like to use different papers. So for this um, tutorial, I'm going to be using my Graphic 45 Life is Abundant. I absolutely love it and I'm going to have um, sweats when I have to cut into it because it's just so, so beautiful. So uh, it is true that you buy one to use and one to stroke and sniff. So I thought that would work really well with the accordion book because it's got um, different sections. I can use it because it's a calendar paper. I can use the different months for different sections in the accordion. So I thought it would work really, really well. So that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I'm also going to be using grey board, but we'll talk about that as we go through. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does help my channel grow. And I do appreciate each and every one of you that does subscribe. It really means the world. So thank you very, very much. So let's get on with the show. For your grey board, for this particular project, you don't need very thick grey board. Now this grey board is 1.5 millimetre thick, so it is quite a bendy uh, grey board, a bit, a bit more flexible than what my um, the two mil grey board is. But the great thing about this is you can cut it with your trimmer. Now stop. If you're going to cut grey board, please, 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 please don't use a brand new blade because it will blunt it. The best thing to do would be to use one of your old ones. So if you've got an old one in your trimmer now, cut your grey board, take it out and then put your new one in and then keep that one. Maybe put a little dot on the top of it uh, with a permanent pen leave that one then for every time you cut grey board you can then put that blade in so it's just a little bit of a top tip there for you so because it will blunt your blade probably within two or three times of cutting it the other part um, thing that we are going to use is some uh, black card now this black card is 220 gsm so it's quite it's quite a flexible weight card, but it's quite a heavy card as well, but not as heavy as the 300 GSM, obviously, but it's, it gives you a bit more flexibility um, in your projects. And because we don't need this one to stand up so much and keep its form, uh, it's, it's perfect for this and me memory books and things like that. So... That's the other thing I'm going to be using as well, as well as then the Graphic 45 paper. So I've got my old trimmer here with my old blade. And we're going to start now by cutting our grey board. So you'll need just one sheet of grey board. And because this is going to do our front and back. So we're going to cut it down first of all. Now I always use my trimmer. Uh, with the measuring guide facing me. I know of some people, they have their guides like this, which is fine, it's as easy as however you work. But I'm having mine like this. I like it like that because when you then um, cut, I can pull my, um, uh, my work down onto the guide and then steady it that way. 
So this is, needs to be, first of all, you're going to cut this down to six and three quarters. Okay, so that's this off. Now, as your trimmer only goes down one millimeter, you will need to just bend that little bit off. So turning it round, we're then going to cut the next part at four and three quarters. Okay, so that's one. And then you're going to cut the next side at the same at four and three quarters. So that is your two covers done. So next you need to um, pick your pattern paper. Now I'm going to go with, this is the front, and I'm going to go with a blue, no I'm not, I'm going to go with, because I've got a patterns and solids, I'm going to go with the black one with all the uh, words on it as the back cover. Um, I just thought those two went really, really well. So for this one, I'm actually going to use it so I can see this side. Because the paper is a calendar paper, it obviously it has got all the months of the year. So I want to try and save this part so that I can put on in my book. So I'm just going to cut this measurement out uh, with the wrong side facing up. So this is going to be this measurement here. So that will be, um, let's write it on here then we'll see. So you've got, so that your measurement of your grey board is four and three quarters, which is this measurement along. And then this measurement going up is six and three quarters. Now we want to give an inch gap on all four sides of our uh, cover. So we need to add um, two inches to for each side. So this measurement here will become six and three quarters. And then this measurement here will become eight and three quarters. So that's six, seven, eight. So that's one inch and one inch and four, five, six, one inch and one inch. Then when we come to cover our grey board, you'll end up with a nice even one inch border. Hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna be doing this measurement first, which is your six and three quarters. So now I have to take a bit of a deep breath and just psych myself up to cutting into the first sheet. Let's just take a moment. I'm sweating, I really am. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that was just funny. Sorry, I had to say that. So, right, so I'm gonna cut the six and three quarters first. So check and double check to make sure that it's right. And, right, are we ready? First cut is always the hardest. Right, I'm going in. Okay, so that's my first cut. That's your six and three quarters. Now I'm gonna say, if you know, you know what I mean when we say cutting into graphic 45 paper. It's very, very stressful. Not really, it's lovely, but I'm, 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 um, I jest with everybody. So the next measurement I'm going to be doing is this long measurement here. Oh, I can't see the long measurement here. So that's your eight and three quarters. Now I'm going to turn that over so I can see what my pattern paper is going to look like. And that's going to be your eight and three quarters. Now, so that is your front, uh, your front cover. Now again, don't throw any of this away. Keep it because that is what we're going to use to decorate our album. So I'm going to do the same with the back. Now because this is directional again, I'm going to cut my um, measurement that goes uh, along the corridor, as they say, uh, first. So that was my six and three quarters because that's this measurement. 
and then I'm going to cut the eight and three quarters which is the length okay. so that's then our front covers um, cut out so next what we're going to do I'll do the front cover first and then you can see what uh, we're going to do so I'm going to just turn it over to work on the back for the time being and I'm just going to use my ruler and I will just measure my one inch so I'm just going to check one two three four so that's one inch so I'm just going to draw a line all the way down and then come along and do the same at the bottom now I'm only going to do that right angle uh, measurement there because I don't really need to do the around the edges. You can do if you want to, but as long as you've married them up with this corner here, um, you should be quite okay. If you can see just very slightly that um, right angle. So this is where my cover is going to go just in there like so and then you'll see I've got a nice even border all the way around so you will need some double-sided tape for this and obviously your glue lots and lots of glue for this so I'm just going to put the double-sided tape just along two edges okay that's all you'll need it's just so that it grabs it now um, as I've got the double sided tape out I'll do my back cover as well like so and like so so burnish it down if you've got a Teflon tool um, really good or if you've got a bone folder but Teflon tool do does work the best on black card because when you come to burnish things it does not leave a mark if you've got a bone folder or a plastic folder or one of those it will leave like a shine and the only way I can really describe how it is is if you've ever tried to iron black trousers you iron that crease in your black trousers if you don't put anything on the top of it you get after um, a while you'll end up with your trousers have got that like shine over them well that's what happens with your black paper if you use um, like a normal bone folder or one of the plastic um, embossing tools that you can get so these are invaluable and you they are quite um, handy and you can pick them up from quite different places lots of places do them now so just give that a nice uh, burnish down and I'll just take that off I'll put the rest I've got a nice little pot here uh, that's I'm gonna I've decided to you well I've been using it for a while it's just my little desktop bin because I was going to buy a, a desktop bin but you know they're so expensive and I thought no I might as well just use an ice cream tub it works just as well so uh, I've taken my backing off now I'm just going to add my glue now pay particular attention to your edges okay because that's what we want we want all the edges and all the corners to be really well glued okay I'm going to just put a few little lines on the double sided tape as well so I'm going to turn that over now I'm going to line up this corner with the corner of my measurement that I've just taken and once I'm happy you can then just slide it into place now as you've got all that glue on you will find that you've got a little tiny bit of wiggle time but then once that double sided tape is stuck that's it it's not going to move now I am going to just squidge out all the glue now I'm saying I'm squidging it out I'm not all I'm doing is spreading it now it will come out like it has done there but that is okay because that's going to be covered anyway so I'm just really um, reusing the glue 
okay and I'm making sure that it's got to all the edges now another really great tool to use is um, one of these and you don't need these you can just buy it or use you can use the corner of your um, cover just to give yourself a line to draw along this is just making your books look a little bit more neater a little bit more professional now um i don't know what these are actually called corner tools i'm going to call it that i've got a couple of different sets here this one is from cool cats uh, and they do an acrylic one and a stainless steel one and they work where you can use this guide here as your line to get a perfect finish of when you're folding your books uh, these ones are from a company called iBooks Binding they're on Etsy and they do a pack of three I think um, they do now and they come in different sizes so you've got the a 1.5 millimeter a two uh, millimeter and I think they do a 2.5 or a three millimeter one and all that means is that this is going to give you two uh, widths of your grey board. Okay, so if I was using two millimeter, that would give me a two millimeter gap between my corner and my paper from what I cut off. But because I don't know where that one is, um, I'm just going to use this one, and then I'll just trim it down accordingly. So you just need to go around and just follow the line and we're going to cut that off in just a minute so I'm going all the way round like so getting all the glue over my tool but never mind so because that was the two mil I'm going to just trim off that pencil line now can you see there I've trimmed it off with the pencil line on my sheet probably about a one eighth of an inch difference um but from uh, that line okay so I'll throw them in the bin just check to make sure there's no pieces that i can fussy cut and i can't i'll pick those because i need those for a minute so once you've got to this stage I am going to now add some uh, double sided tape. Now I'm only going to put that onto the glue tabs of the paper. Now I used to put my tape on the paper at the top and then I used to put, put the double sided tape along the grey board as well. But you don't really need it because you can use the tape to grab now and then you can use the glue to grab for later so once you've done that the next thing on your list of jobs to do is we're going to stretch the paper underneath so we're going to warm it up so that the fibers are going to be a bit more malleable so how i do that is i'm just going to use the edge of the gray board as a resist and i'm just going to um, sort of emboss a line although I'm not really embossing it you can't really see but I'm giving that board that paper um, a memory of hey yes you are going to fold me in a minute and that's where I'm, I want you to be felt fo folded so that's what I'm doing I'm just warming that paper up so that um, it stretches it now I'm not going to do anything now because I'm going to leave that now um, as it is but we will start to construct it so I always work from my biggest two flaps first and then I do the two opposites I don't know I think that's how I've always worked um, it makes it look a bit more neater and than if you went from you went around like clockwise um but that's just how i do it so i've taken my backing off now i'm going to add my glue now this is a quite an important step because the glue 
I'm going to put a long so right up against the edge of my grey board and my paper I've put a bead of glue can you see that now that's going to help the grey board stick to the edge of the of the paper and then I'm just going to add a squiggle of glue and a squiggle of glue on the double sided tape and then just a line on the grey board as well now using your folder I'm just going to use this one is quite good it's got a nice um, like curved edge so I'm going to use that um, to my advantage to just um, sort of move that paper into place now once I folded it like that I'm going to just use my finger so I'm going to come along and as I'm going um, I'm going backwards and forwards I am just pushing it down with my finger so that one I'm getting it nice and neat and two is I'm working out what that glue so as you can see it's all squidged out here but that way I know that it's all the way on the edges it's got all these sort of edges here are going to be uh, filled now with glue and it's going to stick all the time so I'm going to do the same with this side bring that up and that and then along there again your bone folder just bring it up so that the paper sticks to the very edge of that grey board when you're happy just ease it down with your finger and then once you're happy just ease that tape down and then that will start to stick straight away now I've just pushed that um, glue out now do the same with this side just push it out and again when we come to stick these down it will um, marry up so if you look on here I've got a few little tiny I've got a little corner that is just long bigger than the grey board come on camera focus there we go can you see it just there so that needs to be pushed in so I'm pushing down and pushing in okay so you create like a little crease in that paper and that means that when we come to fold the uh, glue tab over that's going to uh, fold in on itself and it won't create a point you'll have a nice neat um, curved corner so put your glue on the very edge uh, I'm just going to put some there I don't need to put any here what I'm going to do is going to squidge that over and again I'll just push that on and squidge that over so that I can get it onto that piece and again squidge that over there we go and then push that over like so there we go and then squidge out now you will get some glue come out this side but this time what we're going to do is just use our finger and wipe it off okay and then we know that that is going to be stuck that you never you're not going to get that up at all now so try the, the do the last bit I've turned those pieces in push that down there you go and then use your finger okay so that is your front cover done okay and it's looking rather nice I love it so I'm going to go away and do the second one and when I come back we can start on the next part. Okay, I've now covered my back cover and my front cover at long last so I think they actually look quite nice up together. Now you're not, when we come to decorate them I will put some butterflies on this to tie it all in so that it doesn't look um, so... Uh, different but I think they look really nice I love this paper absolutely love it 
these these moths and things are just fantastic they really are so we're going to put this one to the side for the moment and we're going to work on our back cover now for the back cover we i need to attach our ribbon now i'm just going to add um, a, an arrow that says top on these just so that i know which way my top is so i don't get confused and stick things um, where they shouldn't be so in my um, first one I used two different ribbons I'm going to do the same on this I'm going to add some nice um, satin ribbon and some um, organza as well so let me just get a bit of this organza out now I've probably cut off about three quarters of a metre now you may not need all of that but um, it's got to go around your book and then you want to have quite a bit um, either side now again um, it's up to you you can just use the one so what you want to do is put the ribbon that you're going to see first down first and then your uh, second piece on top now if you've got like me where uh, with this satin ribbon you've got a shiny side and a not so shiny side a more of a matte side you probably can't see it too much in the light but this one is the more duller side and that's the shinier side that one needs to your shiny side needs to face down so I've got my two there I'm just going to draw a line oh, it's not going to be a straight line but that gives me I've just sort of by eyed where I think my middle is going to be now you can if you want to measure it um, but I think I'm just going to do um, I'm going to be like if you measure it it would be three and a quarter uh, that would be your middle but once it's on, you don't really notice. So I'm just going to take off a part, some of the um, double-sided tape. And I'm just going to put it over that mark that I made. Now don't go all the way to your edge because your uh, pages don't go all the way to the edge. So just do it sort of in the middle. So take off this backing here. And I'll add some glue. Now the glue is just going to go on the top like so. Now I will just measure the middle so that I get that near enough where I want it. So I'm just going to smooth that through and then again not right to the edge. Then I will put my next one over the top of that like so and then just squidge that down okay and then what we will do next is just add a tiny bit of the my foundation tape just over the top there now I am going to go to the edge of my paper and do it here as well just to the edge when I say the edge of my paper the edge of the glue tab that's uh, or the glue um, one inch bit that's inside like so because this is will get um, opened and closed open and closed so you want it to stay down as long as possible so I've added those in there now we are going to cover that now remember I've just got my T there so that's my top so that's all we're going to do for the the back cover now and your front cover so we can put that to the side because they're done so what we now need to do is bring in our trimmer again and we need to cut out our pages Now the pages 
I'll cut two at the same time so um, I'll use probably about four sheets of your cardstock cutting them out so just getting that in there now again I'm going to work on my my portrait orientation how I'm looking at it you will if you have your trimmer um, looking face down to you you'll be working on your landscape so for this we're going to cut two pages of set together and we're going to cut these at six and a quarter by five inches okay so i'm going to do the six and a quarter first like so, so that's one and then we're going to do the five inch so i've turned it around and do the five yes just making sure and then you're going to do that five again so that's four pages so then you're going to take another two and do that exact same thing again so taking two pieces of paper together do your quarter inch so six and, and a quarter keep these bits that you take off because they can be used for your uh, flaps and things and then we're going to do the five inch and again five inches so that's going to give us um, two four five six seven eight so once you've got your pages cut we're going to score them now they're all going to be scored a half and three quarters okay you're going to do all seven uh yes because you're going to leave one free that's seven I'm just going to double check to make sure I've done seven so we've got one two three four, five six seven so we've got seven and then this one is um, just plain with no uh, score lines on but we will need to cut it down um, in a moment so once you've got your pages we are going to do them as follows so I'm going to work um, I'm just going to fold soft fold this first so you need to work with one of your glue tabs so the one with um, the the side with two score lines on is going to face the right and then you're going to take one of the other ones with the score lines on but you're going to face you're going to be able to glue the plain edge to that okay so I'm going to glue on the valley fold side first of all and just we're going to line it up with that very first score line now you're not going to go over that score line you are just going to go up to it okay and when you're happy just burnish that down like so so where is this is going um, your fold is coming in this one is going to go the opposite direction okay so you've got it'll be like an S okay so you've got your fold one one fold, one um, glue tab going that way and one glue tab coming this way so we're going to put then get your other piece page and you're going to do the same thing you're going to put a glue tabbed edge to a plain edge put your glue on and then 
marry it up. And you're happy that it's in the right place. Just burnish that down. Okay, then that's going to fold like this. So then this folded edge needs to fold back on itself, like so. Okay, and then we put the next one on, and you just carry on all the way along until you've used all your pages up. That should be not very long. So fold that over and then concertina this is going to fold in the opposite direction so I'll open that out put the next one on Burnish that down and then fold it all up and then this next one is be the one that folds again. So we're folding this one up the other way. So it's again folding back on itself. And what two more to go. need to fold that over and then this last fold put the last one on now you will have uh, seven pages on this but that's okay because what we're going to do is the front cover or the inside front cover we're going to leave that blank not blank, we're going to put something on it, but we're not going to put a month on it. It'll just be a decorative piece. So once you've done this last one, you can just fold them up and then fold that down. Make sure you've got it nice and crisp. And then this last one um, is going to have this page on it. Because when you do a concertina, you're always going to have a plain edge on one side and then you always end up with one that's got a score line on it. So what I do is the, the extra one, I'm just going to check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. And then you close that up, so that's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So this one we need to cut down just on that one side the five inch side we need to cut that down to four and a quarter okay like so and then that's going to fit uh, onto our extra uh, glue tabbed edge on here like so That then is the pages done. Like so just make that a bit more crisper. And just press that down. This glue, I'm using a different glue and it's, it takes a little bit of a while to um, stick it down. It's not bad, I have to say, the glue I'm using, it's the tonic one, this tacky, craft tacky glue. It's 
quite good really good really economical I have to say so it's not bad it just takes a while to put it to stick so I'm always up for trying different glues so that then is our pages uh, of our concertina done so next we need to bring in bring back our front and back covers now you need to work out how you want your book to open so if you want it to open um, so that your front cover when your front cover is on it opens this double page where you haven't got because when, when we open come to the back and we put the back on like so the back will have um, this extra bit underneath so you'll open it out where you've got um, a spine on the outside whereas this one the spine will be on the inside okay so you just need to work out your own personal preference I personally like to have it where when you open your front cover you've got in this in the full sense of the word your book so it looks a bit more like a book so I'm going to write front and back and I'm going to put front up back up so that I know that that's what we do so I've put my T on my front cover so I know that that's my top and I know that that's my top on my concertina so I can put them together so what I'm going to do is just open that out and open this bit out here and I'm going to put my tape I'm going to put it um, down the middle I think and there you don't need a lot because we're going to put lots of glue on here and the glue will help keep it stuck so take the backing off like so and then add your glue so the glue is going to play particular um, attention to your edges because that's where we want it to be really stuck so I'm just going to add that glue and then the, this side is going to get stuck to your front page oh. so just by eye it if you want to you can add your quarter inch half inch a half inch it's a half inch gap move it along make sure that it's let's say half inch quarter inch okay, push that down and then when you're really happy with it which I'm quite happy with that just burnish it down smooth out all that glue So that then is my front cover and that's how I wanted it to be opened like so. So come on to the back. Now the back again that's my back bit and it's going to stick on to my cover here. So make sure that I've got the top and the top together and it can go over like so. So add your tape. Now with this I'm going to pay particularly particular attention to the sides as well because where I've got my ribbon I want to make sure that that's nice and level and even so I will put a little bit of tape 
just on the edges as well here So again, glue, so I'm going to just get myself set up so that I've got everything uh, how it should be and then get your side and line it up looks about right that's nice and straight let me check the back and that's nice and straight as well so hey we're on to a winner so I'm just going to move that out the way so that I can just burnish this down like so and then that is your front and back cover with your closure on so we can then uh, you can either have your closure where it is doing up at the side here or you can have it where it's at the front I quite like um, the side I think it looks quite good there so I might have mine at the side but I like the organza and the satin it just adds a nice shimmer to the front of your cover right so what we are going to do now we can do the file folder now the file folder is this one here get it the right way is this one so this is the file folder now you will need either a hole punch in two different sizes or if you've got a uh, folio die you can then cut them out uh, with that so I uh, will do those ones uh, a bit later but we'll get the rest done first now this is this comes in three parts so you've got a top flap a middle section and a bottom flap okay so when we get our book we've got um, a blank page so we've got January February March April May June July now I am going to write that on there so we've got Jan I'll just put Jan Feb March April May June July okay then we'll turn it over and then what did I say I might leave this one blank at the minute. So June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah. So I'm going to leave this this one blank. Okay. And go over to the next page, and this will be July, August, September. October, November, and then December. Okay, then we're back again to the beginning. So this is blank, so we'll put blank and blank. Okay, so that we know. So we're going to start obviously January. So I'm going to cut out the elements first and then do the pattern paper in a moment. So for this, we are going to need, as I say, three parts. Now, hopefully, you might be able to use some of these that are left over. Definitely for the 
uh, the bottom flaps so let me just double check here what we need so we'll need I'm going to put file folder so that's one pocket file folder two pocket file folder three pocket and then you go on to the back so we'll need uh, one two three so we'll need three of the file folders and three pockets but we'll do the file folder bits first and then we can do the pockets afterwards so if we work on so I'm going to just write that down so that I remember it's three so three elements of each that we need to write out um, cut out so I'm not going to do the, the bottom flap hopefully I can use this out um, here and that is what we've just got ready we've got left so far from what we've cut out of our four pages so for the top flap it's going to measure four and a quarter by two and five eighths so I'm just going to cut one at the moment and then hopefully we'll be able to um, just use some off cuts so four and a quarter I'm going to go this way actually so four and a quarter and I'm going to do it again four and a quarter like so by two and five eighths two and five eighths there. so that's one two and five eighths that's two and hopefully this is two and five eighths look at that two and five eighths so that's three so I've got three so far out of one tiny bit so we've still got this bit left over and that so that's my top flap okay we still need to do some scoring on those but we'll come to that in a moment so I've got this left now this is going to be a bit short uh, yes it will oh fiddle right don't worry we'll use that one in a moment so grab your next piece and we're going to cut the middle section now the middle section is five and three eighths by five so we'll do the five and three eighths down there and then by five so you'll get two out of that that's one I'm hoping that's right. I'm just going to check. I think it goes that way. And I'm just going to double check because I think this is right. Do you know how sometimes something just doesn't look right? But I think that is. goes over yes that is right so you've cut two of those and uh, you need to cut one more so this is your middle section and again we will do score lines in just a minute so that's those and then we just got one more middle section which I don't know if that will go no that's such a shame so one more piece of card and go five by five and three quarter five and three eighths okay. and then that's your second your last middle section 
So next you need the bottom flap. Now we've got loads of offcuts here that we can use. So the bottom flap is two inches by four and a quarter. And that is just right. Two inches by four and a quarter. So that's one. Two, and then we've got one more here and that's three so that's then all your pieces this is your bottom flap okay so let's start with that and we can do our score lines now the score lines are um, a half and five eighths and that's on all of them okay so for the bottom flap you need um, you're going to score along the long edge okay so we're going to score along that edge at a half and five eighths okay and you're going to do that on all of them So that's your bottom flap. So uh, you need then for the middle section, it's exactly the same. It's your half inch by five and one eight, sorry, five eighths. And that is on the, you're gonna score along the shorter side. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen at one stage so I'll redo that one that should have been a score not a not a um, cut so I've got one more here to do and as I say we're scoring along that short side uh, half and five eighths and five eighths and then you've just got then the top flap and that's going to be again a half and five eighths so I won't do the rest um, we can do those ones in a moment but we'll do one page first so you'll need one of each so you'll need a middle section, a top flap and a bottom flap and of course your book. So open it up. Remember we're going to not we're going to miss the first one because that's going to be blank. I'm just going to move them over like so. That way I've got a flat surface to work on. I've got a flat surface then. So working on this um, piece here. So I'm going to start with my bottom flap. Now I'm also going to round my corners on this. So I've, all I've done now is just um, did give give myself a very soft score uh, fold for my score lines, and I'm going to just round the corners. I'm going to go with a seven millimeter uh, corner, but you can go smaller or wider, whichever you prefer. So with our flap, the flap is going to fit um, just in that um, in between your two score lines. So the the two score lines that are facing that are nearest to the the section here is what we're going to do. Now I am just going to mitre the corners on that glue tab. I'm just going to mitre them just slightly like so. Okay, And then we are going to glue them onto the 
front of the uh, section here. Now again you can use your um, glue or your double sided tape whichever you prefer. So I'll just uh, wipe that off. Now I'm going to line it up with the very edge of the um, page. Okay, make sure you get that in the middle and as thinly as you can. Now, if for instance, now just double checking mine, just making sure, yes, that's fine. If for some reason you uh, might have a millimeter difference between the your uh, flaps and your measurements if that happens all you will need to do is just trim off a smidgen off one side just to get them to fit because they are quite precise in my measurement so um, but if it is a, if I said if like I said you just need to trim off a little bit so I've done my bottom flap I'm going to leave that one there and I'm going to come in now with my um, middle section and that's going to fit so it comes down just to this um, very first score line so I'm going to just softly softly score those uh, just fold the score lines over like so and I'm going to mitre these corners as well this is going to um, cut down on the bulk of your album as well so let me just pick up those little pieces because then they end up on my glue and on my tape so I'm going to glue them so that the, the bottom score line is going to touch the score line on the side of your page like so I'm going to uh, glue down one side first and then put the glue on when this one's stuck and then uh, glue the, the other side down. So I'm just going to very gently get that into place when you're happy and you're very happy just burnish that down like so. And then we can do the next side and that's just going to fit uh, onto that uh, other side of the page. Again just do it so that it doesn't cover that score line but it just is just next to it. Again just score them, just burnish that down as best you can and then that will fit over the top and then you've got your top flap that will fit just on there like so and I think this one maybe might be a touch too big and all it is it's just where um, you may have done your score line you might just have measured just wrong not wrong but just that little bit too much or too little so I'm just going to cut tiny bit off not even an eighth of an inch as you can see look how big that is not a lot and then that should fit yes that's a little bit better so again just round the corners make sure you get the right um, one that you're doing like so and again just mitre those corners and that's going to fit on the very top of our flap like so and we can just put our glue on that and that's the glue's going on the mountain side fold sorry I meant to say that earlier and didn't so then that fits on there like so there we are. So that's your first page done. 
So the next one is the pocket page and that is very simple and that's something we can do now without um, having to paper. So for your pocket these are the measurements that you need. So you can have it as tall as you want or as short as you want to. Um, so I'm going to do it at um, so the side is going to be five and a quarter by two and a half and then we're just going to give it one single score at a half an inch and again that's going on all three sides so two short the two short sides and one of the longer sides so you're going to come out with something like that so again right so with your pocket you're going to mitre your corner just up to where the two score lines meet so you're going to cut it at an angle you're going to angle the top of the glue tabs as well so you're going to an end up with a little tab like that on both sides and at the bottom okay you fold those over and that's going to fit just in that um, again just in that gap like so now we can glue that down now I will do another t two of these but I'll do that in just a second because I want to get this on so I've just glued my bottom tab and I'm going to stick that on first and so we can get it into place now I am putting it quite near the bottom okay so it's not right at the bottom edge but it is probably a um, minute part just uh, above it okay so I'm just um, burnish that down then we're going to put the, our glue on the two outer tab pieces and then we'll glue them into place now you want to glue them so that they are kind of flat as flat as flat can be I'm just getting that into place and again just burnish those down now I might just turn that over and burnish on the back side here just push that up a bit hanging off the edge there we are so let me move that over and push that down and then I can at least get in the right place so that then is your pocket Okay, so that's your pocket done. So that's going to go, it's going to fit like that. It's fitting, it's coming together really nicely. So the next part is the flap over that is the new addition. I didn't do it on the other one um, because I didn't think I needed it. But when I came to put my things in, I did. They, they did fall out, not all of the time, but they did. Now, another thing that I could have done is put a a line of double sided tape on the underside of my pocket and that would have kept my pocket quite tight um, but you can do that as well if you don't want to add the flap so I'm going to add this type of flap and I'm going to have it so that it's going to it's going to just fit inside okay so it's going to be like a um, a flap over so I don't need to use magnets on this and I had this flap at okay and then you need to score at uh, half an inch again so let's go with five and a half now this is at what is this this is actually two so five and a half and this is my one of just my off cuts as well so we're getting use uh, a good use of all our off cuts and then I don't know if that's going to work but yes that does and that that will fit in there just like so and that's going to keep that 
um, that's going to keep your photo mats and your tags in there. Now, if you want to put a magnet on there, you can do, but it does just fit in and in there like so. So with this, I'm going to, you can either have it towards the um, edge. So if you want it more here, I would maybe make it smaller um, or in, more in the middle. I think I might have it there. I think that might be quite nice. Just there. Yeah, let's try that. I'm not going to trim the corners off, the uh, mite of these corners. I'm going to leave them whole. But I do need the glue. And that's going to go just at the side, but right to the top. Okay. Like so. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a little um, gusset on this if you wanted, but I think that should be all right. That's going to just fit in there nicely. I'm just going to test it out uh, if I can find a... So that's my label, and that's going to fit in there, she says. Why is it getting stuck like so? And then that fits down quite nicely and sits in there. I'm just going to give it a wiggle test. Yeah, that's fine. That fits in there just nice. I know it looks very boring at the moment, but once you get it all covered and uh, with your pattern paper, it really will transform it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this part and then when we come back we can then move on to the other side of the accordion and do those ones. Okay, I've finished all um, putting all our uh, pieces into uh, one side of our accordion. So now we need to work on the reverse side. So we're now working on July, August, September, October, November and December. Now they are going to be the flap, the two flapped page and the belly band page. So this is the two flapped page. So we're going to work on this page here. Now this page has got magnets on, so we will put them on as well. And the belly band is just um, a basic straightforward um, band across the centre with our tag in the middle. Now because that belly band is quite pulled quite taut, these aren't going to fall out. So they are quite safe in there. And then again our belly band flap up and down there. So that goes through all um, of that page at the back. So to do that, I've already cut two of my pages out. You, so uh, I'm just going to do one on camera, but you'll need to cut three uh, each of these. So we're going to start with the, the double page flap. And we're going to do the top flap needs to be five and one eighth by four and a quarter so five and one eighth by four and a quarter and you're going to score along the short edge one of the short edge edges at half an inch and then at <coughs> excuse me at five eighths Okay, and you're going to do that with um, another two more times and then just round those two um, corners there. So the next part of that page is the bottom flap and that's going to be three and one eighth by four and a quarter. Now have I got, so that's just four, does that go to, so I can get that out of here, so four and a quarter 
by three and one eighth. And then we're going to score along that long edge at a half and five eighths. Okay. So that then is the bottom flap. So these, this is this die set that I'm using. So in this die set, we've got a small one, a large tab, and a and a wide that tag as well and um, you can also use these um, which is the little fishtail flags which are amazing I've just got um, one of the wide ones and some of the small ones so really it's up to you which ones you want to use the other dies that, that I'm going to use is the snap-on photo tags and we are going to use both of these in with this um, project and they are available in my shop so the other before we then put them on we have got then just the belly band page to do so I, again i've cut two out so these belly bands are going to measure seven and a quarter by two and again just use any of the off cuts that you've got so if you've got an off cut that is slightly smaller than two use that if you've got an off cut that's slightly big, bigger than that use that so seven and a quarter and then you're going to score a half an inch on that short edge so along that short edge we're going to score like so and I've done two already so that's all my cutting out done so bring in your book and we can start now we've got July on this page July August September October November December and then we flip over and then we've got the blank pages on the other side so working on July I'm going to have it open like so. No, I won't. I'll have it that way. It's easier. So working on July, again, it's now up to you which order you have it. Now, you could have the belly band on this side, which I think is what I'm going to do. Uh, and then this way, the flaps are on the more sturdier side uh, as we go through. Although when we get to this page, it, it might be a bit awkward but we'll deal with that when we come to it i'm just trying to think no um yes we'll do the belly band on this side so i'm just going to move my book around because i can work with it um sort of open ish like that because that way uh, i'm not going to worry so much about the um, the overhang of my cover so with the belly band we're just going to place it in the center um, and we're going to um, glue it at each end now again if you want to have your belly band more over to the side by all means do if you do that you may just have to put a bridging piece on to keep your um, tags in place but I'm going to go with the middle because um, that's just what um, I, I like so I put my glue on both my glue tabs on the mountain side fold and I'm just going to push these down and push out so we get a nice um, taut um, stick and look because we don't want any gapping in this we want it quite tight so that when you put your tag in it's going to keep um, keep it in so that I'm going to go ahead and do all of the belly band so that's the belly band and flap so belly band goes on this next one so September will be a belly band Now 
Now I know I've put these on but we should be able to put the double the paper through and towards the back that shouldn't be a problem. So for the double flap you're going to have the smaller flap at the bottom and the larger flap at the top. Now as these don't connect to the sides we can put our magnets on once we've attached them so it's not going to make too much of a problem. So I'm going to turn this round just so that I can see what I'm doing. So again this is going to go right to the edge and make sure you don't cover those score lines and then just burnish down when you're happy. Some books that we do we have to uh, we do them where you can um, you have to put your paper on as you're doing the, the pages because sometimes it denotes that that's what you have to do but this one um, we can put all our bits on first and then um, decorate afterwards so glue on that and um, turn this round again just so that I've got that up this way you can see then the top marry them up so that they are level at the bottom here as well and then you can pull that over there so that's then your double flapped page done one so now number two and again just round those corners and this is the top so that's going to go on there when you're happy just burnish that down okay and then the bottom flap again around the corners Just going to turn that round so that I can see the bottom bit. I want to line it up with the bottom of my book and once I'm happy I can then just play around with it so that it lines up at the very edges there and then if you want to if your glue if it's not sticking quickly and um, fast enough you can just which does make it quite nice as well if you put some tape along those edges and it will then help the obviously well, this doesn't matter because you're not closing off the edges here but if you was you could put just a bit of your foundation tape along the top and it then creates more of like a slope so that your pages don't get stuck on those glue tabs so that then is your book done apart from the decorating uh, and we've got to add these so that's um, January February March April May June and then we come back then we've got July August, September, October, November, December and then we're back to the front again. So we've got the magnets I said so let's start with the magnets. The magnets are going to go on here. Now you can either use the small ones uh, from that, ta that tag set, um, tab, put it on your tab set uh, and they fit on just like that or you can use the wider ones I think I'm going to go with the smaller ones on this um, I think they look um, just as nice as the big ones but I think because I used the, the big ones on the other one I'm going to use the small ones on here so I just get my 
magnets and we're going to put a magnet inside and put glue on both sides of your tab and your magnet is just going to go so it's going to fit on the the bottom tab and then you're going to close over the top of it like so so I'm going to push that down like so and then you're going to get your next um, magnet plus some double um, some foundation tape like so I know that's not big enough now you're going to open it out stick your side up and then let the magnet find the um, the force and then we're going to just stick it down onto the top like so and then that's your magnet done okay so you can go ahead and do that on all of them working on the file folder page we're going to add our paper to the page now I had go, gone ahead and cut out some circles to add to the flaps to make the file folder but halfway through I decided not to use them and I used magnets instead so if you see the little circles and that cut out on the screen I'm not actually going to use them now you can by all means it just meant that if I use them it would um, ruin the look that I was actually going for so as I say I went for magnets we will cover them first and then put our pieces on that way um, we know what we're doing then so I don't need that so I need my sheets and I need first of all I need the January so this is January's and I really want this part here so I think I've got that cut I know that was May I'm just trying to think what's the best way and best thing to cut out so I quite like that I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pattern it I think I can't use that's too big so what I may do is use this side because that's quite nice that will fit all on there and then cut this January bit out so let's have a go at that bring this back in and we're going to cut this out so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from the bottom to the top I think so I need to cut this part out first and then this. So I'll need to cut this first part out at, now that's one and three quarters. Now we're going with a quarter inch gap all the way round. So that would be at one and one eighth. And let me just write that on one and one eighth by four okay so I'm going to put a line there and a line there because this is the part that we want paper pieced so I'm going to measure from that to that which is two and three quarters but we're going to have a quarter inch gap no we're not going to have a gap we're actually going to we're going to have a small gap in that so that's only going to be two and five eighths by four okay and then this one is again four by one and three quarters by four okay so again just measure from there to there and then we will pattern paper this uh, later all right so so we're going to go with our one eighth first so one and one eighth 
Okay. Although this is going to cut this in half, but don't worry. So one eighth. That's going to go there. Okay. So round the corners. So that's going to go onto my page like so. Then the next one was two and five eighths. two and a half, two and five eighths, which brings me to there. So that's going to go in the middle. So it's going to look like that. There. Okay. And then this part here is one and three quarters. So one and three quarters. Please get that all in. I might actually go bit bigger so I can get that all in so I've actually gone a bit bigger on this top but that's okay so now you need to work out what ink you want whether you have black ink or brown ink I'm going to go with black on this one because I think it would look better than brown because it's a predominantly black Piece. So I can add this on like so. So that goes there, and then now this is going to fit just in between those two pencil lines. Okay, so it looks a bit like that. Line it up as best you can down here with that. And then this one is the top one, which I did cut out, which was that. So round the corners, just the bottom two corners on that ink. And then that's going to go on the top. So that then is the front of that. So that's our January. So what I'm going to do is, because I've got January here, I'm going to cut this out and I think I might mount it and then I'll have a look. So I'm just going to cut the whole thing out. Could put it in, I think I might put it in the middle there. Actually, that goes quite nice, just there. I think I'll back that onto some card. If you wanted to just use a um, magnet to keep that closed, you could do, um, and a magnet there to, or, or just close that one off, you could do that. So you didn't need to have that one as a, a flap down. You could just close that off and then just have an opening from the top. So I'm just gonna put my magnet just underneath there and then that will close over there let's move that round so then that goes down I will cut that off because that's probably a bit too low down let's just cut that bit off Hopefully that's in the right place. Yes, it is. So then that just closes down and then I'm going to glue that to that. Okay, so that then is that like so. So you can paper piece in there. Unfortunately, the rest of this album didn't fit, get filmed correctly. The sound on my microphone wasn't picking up, so I was filming like it was the 1930s with no sound. So I've had to delete it, and I'll just give you an overview of the finished album. Luckily, 
all of the important parts of this tutorial had filmed correctly so that was one small mercy so I wanted to just show you my finished one now I'll only do a quick one because I want to do another walkthrough uh, project share of this uh, on a separate video but just as a quick walkthrough you can see so I've added some of the cut apart pieces to my front of my album I've also added some on the back but we'll get to that in a second I've glossy accented some of the elements as you can see there just with the light shining uh, I've just glossy accents the wings and the little ladybirds down here the top of the mushroom and some of the dragon uh, flies I've also uh, glossy accented just to give it a bit of shimmer so that's my front or well, one of my front covers so we turn it over now I've left this um, blank but again you can put whatever you want there but I quite liked it blank because it shows off the paper so we did the January I managed to save the January but then we're coming on to February and Mark so I've pattern papered it as I said we was going to do and I've added my uh, calendar months and I've just added a few embellishments as well just along the way and as you can see we can lift that out and then there's my snap it um snap on tags which um I really love those tags and then that just pops in there and you no need for a magnet on there so it saves on magnets again March is the same as the April one where you've got a um, file folded pocket but down the bottom here I've actually left this open so that you can stick in small uh, tags or just some small embellishments and things so we've got April and May again the same but uh, on this one I've used um, the other tag in the set which is the fishtail one again I really really like that and I love this paper I have to say I've really loved it I'm going to make a few more different um, projects with it so that's coming on to May um, June on on this side again using the belly band closure type thing and then this is my back page stroke front page and uh, again I've just added something very simple I've 3D'd the frame and then just um, sunk that down inside to make it look a little bit like an actual picture frame and then just added one of the tags with a brad on the side and then coming over to July and that's my belly band in there with my tags and that sticks in there just nicely it doesn't fall out with the ribbon on as well and then this is the inside of the um, flip and flap page again I'm not going to go into too much detail um, I won't put the measurements down for the pattern paper because yours might be a little bit different to mine uh, that way and um, if you cut a wrong measurement with using your pattern paper it's not my fault <laughs> uh, only messing so um, yeah so uh, I haven't done any of the pattern paper measurements so I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I am really sorry that I didn't get to sh film it as I was putting it together the last little bit but um, at least I we got to the main bits done please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really does help you don't know how how helpful it is just by you subscribing and if possible hit that notification bell as well that way you'll be kept up to date with everything that is tomorrow Morton crafts in the future don't forget to come and see me on Facebook as well. I have a really lovely group called Memories Paper Art. Uh, come over there and join that as well. And then you can share all your uh, crafty makes so that we can all see them. So I will love you and leave you wherever you are in the world. Have a beautiful day and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.